now to around um, 11.40, something like that. Uh, a, 11, uh, 11 for 40 a.m. After that, we can enjoy the uh, sushi, sus making sushi. Uh, it turns it turns around 11 for to 11 for from 11 for to um, 12 10. And maybe we can you know, and watch. In, I want to talk about uh, some a bomb a bomb story in Hiroshima and Nagasaki presentation and show some films <coughs> um, in, in this afternoon. After that, we can I can demonstrate it. The traditional Japanese Japanese culture, which say a Japanese tea ceremony. So I want to show you. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed, um, and I hope you you can see the Japanese the culture together. So firstly, uh, um, as you notice, my English has a strong Japanese accent. So please listen carefully. Thank you. So now I want to talk about my introduction and Hiroshima City. Okay. First, three, let me introduce myself. My name is Yukiko Shimono. Uh, my first name is Yukiko, and family name is Shimono. So this is my Japanese character. And Shimono, which is my family name, means Shimo means under and no means fear. And this is my name. Yu means freedom. Ki means a diary. Ko means a child. So um, I wear is is you know very traditional Japanese um, clothes, which we say kimono kimono in Japanese. And you know we are. I'm very I'm very love. I love to Japanese kimono very much. Today I was wearing to um, casual kimono. We said in you, you, okay. Today I'm wearing uh, some casual kimono. We said yukata, yukata in Japanese. Uh, then uh, you put on some yukata, um, usually in a summer situation, summer um, festival or fireworks at night, something that's kind of occasion. Um, we are always to wear kind of clothes and go out. And um, today I wear some unique socks. We said tabi. We we said tabi in Japanese. So because it was it is very unique, it, it spread, you know, spread in the big toe and the other toes. And also this kind of situation we have we put on the yukata, we have um, this kind of you know shoes we said together. Also this is very unique shoes, I think. So so this is my introduction. So uh, please, so my nickname is Yuki. So please call me Yuki. So um, Yuki pronunciation also snow in English. So I think you can remember my nickname easily in your mind. Next, come on. Okay. So I want to talk about my favorite things. I like studying traditional Japanese culture. I have been studying Japanese tea ceremony for around 10 years. And this is a you know very very traditional Japanese tea ceremony. This is actually um, I joined to the you know, celebration on, of New Year for New Year 2004 at my teacher's house. So I performed to the um, my tea ceremony in my teacher's house. Also there is performance. Everything went photo anyway. So and also I have been studying Japanese calligraphy around 25 years. So when I was I, maybe eight or nine years old, I started to, studying to calligraphy, and still now I'm also of the culture. You know, I study uh, regularly once a week, twice a week, something like that. This is my you know Japanese calligraphy, and this is Japanese calligraphy. At that time, um, I got a you know kind of a, I got a prize, I got an award, so that's why my teacher took my photo for our you know, memory. So this is my teacher. She is around 95 years old. You know, it's it's quite old, but she can still teach me um, Japanese choreography. So now I want to talk to the location of Japan. Uh, this is Japanese style world map. So here is America. So maybe I think that way is Nebraska state, I suppose. And Japan is, you know. 
beer. This is, you know, Japanese style, Japanese style world map. So that's why Japan is center. So in Amer in America, your you know world map maybe in the center is United States, I think. So it must be for you, it's a little unique or interesting. <coughs> so in Japan, we are we belong to the Asian region. So neighborhood is Korea, South Korea, North Korea, and China, and also India and Southeast Asia. So this is Japan's map. Maybe some people know, you know some cities in Japan. And this is the capital city, Tokyo. So this is my home, my, my, my birthplace, my city, Hiroshima city. Also, Nagasaki city is there. It's also very you know, famous because of the you know, A bomb. So that's why. Um, also, I just, did you remember the last March 11th? Very, you know, terrible and you know, awful earthquake in Japan. He did, you know, you know, the hard earthquake in Japan. It was happening around there in the, Pac in the Pacific Ocean, not to the, the land or continent. So it was, you know, happened. Uh, the earthquake happened around there. So that's why especially north of Japan, because of the places, the people, it's so, how can I so I, I'm so sorry that because they are really lost, the families, friends, houses, everything because of the disaster, I mean tsunami or, you know, earthquake. But, you know, Japan, Japan and Japanese have a, have a good, you know, we are very brave, so we can try to, you know, rebuild again now. So, by the way, I've talked about the uh, city of Hiroshima. This is my city. So, I live in around there. So, in Hiroshima, there are so many rivers and mountains and forests. So, that's why we enjoy, to, you know, um, you know, the culture, like, um, oh, um, how can I say? The snowboarding, the skiing, winter, and summer, we can enjoy the riverside. Now, I want to talk about Hiroshima today a little bit. <clears throat> this, hot, this, this photo is a uh, scenery of Hiroshima today. So um, when I arrived to, in Omaha, in Nebraska state, uh, and I just I was going to go my host family's house it's on the way to her home. I was so surprised because in, in, in Nebraska, I mean the neighborhood, her house, her house it's, it's nothing, I mean. No buildings, you know, just only corn and flat, that's all. Corn <laughs> and field, that's all. So I was, oh my god, this is, you know, my city is here, so that's why it's a completely different atmosphere. So. But anyway, I really enjoy, I love Nebraska, I love, you know, Nebraska people very much, you know, so I enjoy, but at that first time I was so nervous because, you know, it's a completely different atmosphere. So this is my, you know, hangout or, you know, I often go around or shopping or hang out, having a dinner, something like that. It's always, it's my downtown. So I want to talk about um, my favorite food. This is Hiroshima popular food. Firstly, this is Okonomiyaki or Konomiyaki, Hiroshima's popular food. Um, so whenever, you know, um, I sometimes show around in Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park or, you know, exploring the downtown, um, you know, in the foreign and overseas people. Everyone are crazy about Okonomiyaki. They are so excited. So you guys, maybe, if you or when you have a chance to come to Hiroshima in Japan, maybe, I hope you should try and eat, enjoy to eat. I really recommend it. Because, because um, there are pork, many vegetables, and noodles, so it's very, very healthy. So also, I recommend it oyster. Hiroshima is oyster producing district too. It is the best season for eating oyster in winter. So have you ever oyster, um, raw oyster, have you ever eaten, you know, raw oyster? Are you all right? Some people don't hate it, you know, raw oyster. <laughs> you don't know, I mean, raw oyster. But I'm very happy. I recommend raw one. <laughs> so, so I want to show you Hiroshima spots. And we have two official spots in the, uh, we have two official sports team. We say Asaka, we say San Francisco Hiroshima. Also baseball, official baseball team, Hiroshima Cup. You know, the cup is kind of 
the name of fish. So we, <laughs> the Hiroshima's people are crazy about fish very much. <laughs> so anyway, uh, this is quite new. The baseball stadium, it was built around um, two or three years ago, so it was, it's quite new. We said it's Matsuda Zoom Zoom Stadium Hiroshima because, you know, Matsuda Model Corporation Company is head office in Hiroshima city, so that's why you know. So, now I want to talk Hiroshima main products. As I said to you, um, Hiro um, Hiroshima has uh, many, you know, big production um, places. For example, we have Matsuda Motor Corporation, head office in Hiroshima city, and makeup brushes, <coughs> famous for U.S., European, European foreign brand, for example, ST Royal Companies in New York City, that company used this brush for makeup. Also, Mitsubishi company in Hiroshima produced Boeing 777, especially this, in, uh, you know, place, you know, this, that one is place, you know, product, this company in Hiroshima. So talking about, the, I want to talk about population, Hiroshima popula Hiroshima's population is allowed over 2 million people. Do you know how many? Do you know the population in Nebraska? Any guess? Seven million. Seven million? Seven million, isn't it? Or two million? Or okay. <laughs> Not very many. Right, right. I know. I give, I give an answer. Um, Nebraska is. Um, Nebraska has about 1.7 million people. So, Hiroshima area is, has more people than all of Nebraska. You know, Nebraska is, for example, I can say it, it like kind of size, for example, the area of Nebraska, but Hiroshima is maybe I'm not sure, <laughs> one, uh, one, fifth, one fifth or one sixth, something. It's quite small, you know, places. But, you know, Hiroshima is so big, it's so crowded places, so that's why, you know, there are so many people living there in the city and in Hiroshima. So, if, if that all talk about my self-introduction, so now I want to talk about um, my... Um, I want to talk to Ms. Rajusho about Japanese culture, I think. Okay. Right. Okay. Let's go. So, I'm going to show you some pictures from Japan. I will take you on a tour to Japan. So, welcome to Japan. <laughs> um, okay. So, you know, you guys know, this is Japanese frog. We call it Hinomaru, Hinomaru in Japanese. This, it has a large red circle in the center on, the, on a white background. This red circle symbolizes the land of the rising sun. So there are four seasons in Japan, spring, summer, fall, and winter. Japanese take a pleasure in tradition of the season and enjoy their time. In the spring, we enjoy seeing beautiful cherry blossoms. From the late March through the April and even in, into May, it is the season of sakura. Sakura means cherry blossoms in Japan. The cherry blossoms are in the Philippines only, uh, only for a few days. When the cherry blossoms are at their height, people build them in the mountains or in the park. Some people get together under the tree bro cherry blossoms in the park and enjoy not only viewing at not only viewing the blossom blossoms at but and also eating and drinking. When the rainy season comes to across, the hot weather arrives. Summer in Japan is very, very humid and hot. In the fall, it's a very beautiful season with many colored leaves. And then, it is cold in the winter and snow in many regions in Japan. So, have you ever heard Mount Fuji? It is the highest mountain in Japan. It's more than about 12,000 feet high. It's very, it's very famous for its very scenery, its, its very beautiful scenery, and lots of tourists to see to see the rising sun from the top. So 
slowly. Listen up, up the phone. Maybe you have seen samurai or shogun on films. Unfortunately, there are no samurai in Japan now. This is kind of a temple for Buddhism. We enjoy architecture. People can go inside to see many things displayed. It's like a museum. A temple has a status of Buddha inside. Usually it has a statue of Buddha. The statue of Buddha is a very famous and very large one, more than 9 feet high. Buddhism, Buddhism and Shinto are the two main religions in Japan. Maybe this is new for you. Next, this is Shinto Shrine. Shinto Shrine site, and this is a little bit different from Christianity. Christian has an absolute God, absolutely God, but, oh, sorry, Christian has an absolutely God, only one God, but in Shinto, for example, there are millions of God or spirit. People believe that everything has spirit inside. The tree has spirit, and a stone has spirit. Many Japanese believe in Shinto and Buddhism at the same time. Buddhism came to Japan in the 5th century from India, but Shinto has been in Japan from ancient times. So it's really closely related to the way of Japanese thinking, custom, and culture. Tradition 1. What is the national sport of Japan? Do you know these pictures? Yes, this is sumo. It is national and traditional sports in Japan. You might think they are really, really fat. But look, these legs, they are really, really actually muscular. Their body fat percentage are the same as our or maybe even lower. Tradition two, um, have you, do you know these pictures? This is, um, they are having a wedding ceremony. This is traditional style wedding, Shinto style. The bride wears a beautiful white kimono and a hair set. However, in these days, Many couples have wedding in the church and wear wedding dress too. Some people have a wedding ceremony in Shinto style and wear traditional kimonos, traditional clothes, kimono, and then change to western, western dresses for reception. Tradition 3, what is a national custom of Japan? First, we said talking about Hatsumode, Hatsumode in Japanese. We say Hatsumode in Japanese. Hatsumode means New Year's visit to shrine. During the New Year vacations, vacation, Japanese people make their first visit to shrine, where they are praying for happiness and good health for the year. This is fireworks in the summer. There are, many, there are many summer festivals in Japan. It is famous for carrying miniature shrine in Kyoto. And this is Nogak Theater. Nogak is a classical Japanese music, musical drama that has been performed since the 14th century. Many characters are masked with men playing male or male and female roles. I want to talk about Japanese traditional food a little bit. Maybe the most famous food in Japan is this, the sushi. Have you ever tried sushi before, some guys? Oh, okay, thanks, that's great. So, you know, as you know, Japanese food are very known all over the world because they are very, very healthy, putting many vegetables in the meal. I will show you another famous Japanese food. For example, the tempura. Tempura is quite famous in the world, I think. You know, fried you know, vegetables or shrimps. And sashimi is raw fish 
And Kachidan is very, um, especially guys, younger guys, um, boys are very crazy about it because lots of rice and fried, uh, fried pork with uh, something gravy sauce. So it's very, very nice and yummy. And also, I know, you know, in, in America it's quite famous for a ramen. So maybe you have a much opportunity. Much chance to eating ramen, I know. <laughs> also, we have another noodle which says soba. It's called, you know, ramen, I think. So, and I want to talk about capital city, which is Tokyo. This is the scenery, this photo is a scenery of Tokyo. Um, do you know this store? Have you ever heard this store's name before? Do you know that one? This is a Tokyo Tower. We said Tokyo Tower. So, Every tour, not only Japan, but also foreigner, many foreigners visit this Tokyo Tower. Uh, enjoy to, you know, um, you know, um, Tokyo Tower, I think. Also, this is quite busy city in Tokyo. And I really recommend this train, red train, you know. We say Shinkansen. We say Shinkansen in Japanese. And Shinkansen is the fastest bread train in the world, I believe. So we Japanese are very, very proud of this bread train. Most of foreigners, in, I mean travelers, when I, you know, um, maybe you can have a chance when you come to Japan or traveling or exploring, exploring in the many city in Japan. So you, I hope you can try to get on the bread train. It's so quick, so fast. And day to day life. You will be surprised. You will be surprised to see this. In a large city like Tokyo, trains or subways come every hour, minutes, or very often. But still, there are so many people during rush hours. These things might be happen every morning, every weekend, every week, every evenings. So that means that you know stuff is pushing, pushing the, you know the train. But still, there are so many people meet or running or queuing. So also, this is um you know some scenery of you know Tokyo. So rural area. Okay. This is this is in the cities, but in rural rural areas, you can see you can see relaxing scenery like this. This is very, very traditional Japanese style house. It's very, very traditional. So what is this? It's rice fields. Rice grows in the mud, like this. As you know, Japanese eat, Japanese eat lots of rice, but we, ate, we eat bread or pasta too. I want to show you the late, you know, latest hot news. Have you ever had Tokyo Sky Tree? So, bursting um, at the height of the 2008 feet, this is um, the Tokyo Sky Tree. It is actually now um, it's under the construction. Uh, I mean, this tower is being built now. So, Tokyo Sky Tree will appear in Tokyo in 2011, May 2020. 20, 22nd, May 22nd. So, so we cannot, you know, go to the Tokyo Sky Tree yet, but it will be come soon. We can enjoy it, you know, to go up the top of the and there, and we can see the, the scenery or you know, panorama, panorama in Tokyo. So, um, this tower, anyway, this tower will be one of the world tourists, I believe, you know. Do you understand what that means? You know, maybe it's tourism. Yes, yes great, thank you. This I want to say tourism, tourism in the all in the world of the you know, tower. So I want to ask you, do you know bus shops from America in Japan? Any guess? I want to give a hint. What is a famous what is famous fast food in, in America? McDonald's. Thank you very much. Yes, we have McDonald's. This is my city McDonald's shop. It looks very stylish. You think so? I love it. So, <laughs> you know, um, you say uh, McDonald's. My English is McDonald's, but we um, Japanese do not say McDonald's. We said 
マクドナルド He said マクドナルド Right? Please after me マクドナルド Yes So when you、uh, trek in Japan Maybe you miss the Japan, you know, American fast food which is McDonald's Please ask the people where is マクドナルド Where is マクドナルド Because if you say where is McDonald's Maybe Japanese do not understand what you say Pardon, something like that